Hello everyone, for today's magic card trick tutorial, I thought it'd be neat to share with you a trick that just has to do with the picture cards. Now the picture cards are the jacks, queens, and kings inside a deck of cards. So I'm just gonna go ahead and go through and remove all the jacks, all the queens, all the kings from this deck of cards, okay? Now this trick also has a neat phenomenon associated with it, and I'm gonna explain that during the tutorial portion of this trick, but this trick is pretty easy to do. Um, whether you're just starting out in magic or you've been doing magic for a long time, okay? So I'm going to remove all of the picture cards here and then let's just look at what the order of the cards are, okay? So for the first two cards, we have a red queen and a black jack, okay? The second two cards, we have a black king, red queen, okay? The next set of cards is a red jack, black king. The next set of cards is a black queen, red jack, and the last two cards is a red king and black queen, okay? Now, if I just square these up, do a magic tap, maybe wave it over my magic wand here, you can make actually the red kings go together, the black queens go together, the red jacks go together, the black kings go together, the red king queens go together, and the black jacks go together, okay? And that's picture this. And it's pretty simple to do, but before I explain it, as always, please like and subscribe to this video. I really appreciate it. Um, subscribe to this channel. I also wanna give a shout out to all my channel members. I really appreciate it. If you're looking to get a channel membership through YouTube, just go ahead and click the associated tab um, that uh, says membership on it. I believe, and uh, it'll give you all the information about being a member, okay? Also, check out thebestmagicshop.com where you can find some awesome new magic tricks accessories, shirts, bags, and more for yourself or anyone who just likes magic. All right, and now for the tutorial. Okay, picture this. So what you're gonna wanna do is you're gonna wanna remove all the picture cards from your deck of cards, okay? And it's just a regular deck of cards, okay? So you just have your cards here, remove all the picture cards. Now you're gonna wanna set up up like this. You have the red kings and, a, and then put the black queens on top and then the red jacks on top of that and then the black kings, okay? The red queens, and then the black jacks, okay? So it's just red, black, red, black, red, black, okay? King, queen, jack, king, queen, jack, okay? And sets of two, okay? Now you have that set up beforehand, okay? In this order, and then turn the cards over, and then just um, push over three cards, drop them on the table. Push over two cards, drop those on top of that. Push over two cards, drop those on top of that. Push two cards over, drop those on top of that. And then your final three cards, just drop them on top of that, okay? So now your stack of your order is looks something like this, okay? Now you don't need to remember this order if you just did exactly what I did, okay? But now you're gonna take these cards in this order, and you just remember, I mean, it starts with the black queen, the queen of spades, and it ends with the red queen, the queen of hearts, okay? That kind of way you know where to stop getting the picture cards and you know you've gotten all 12 of them, okay? Take this stack and just put them on top of your deck, okay? Just like that, now you're ready to go. So your, your stacked deck before you start, okay? So if you give the deck two riffle shuffles, it will not, mess up the order of the top 12 cards, okay? So when you look, when it looks like you're mixing up all the cards, okay, the spectator doesn't know you have a stack of, of 12 cards on top, and when you do the riffle shuffle, because it's only 12 cards, they're still maintained on the top half of the deck. So when you give two riffle shuffles, okay, they're still in that order that you just did. They're just spread out throughout the deck, okay? So now go through the deck and just, and you can try it, do it with the 12 cards face up and you can see that it doesn't mess up the order, okay? When, you, when you're practicing this trick, okay? Now go through the deck and just remove all the face cards, okay? And they're gonna be in the same order. See, we st the first card was the queen of spades. They're gonna be the same order that you stacked them in, okay? And that's kind of the neat phenomenon about this trick. If you have a few top cards that you wanna keep in a certain order and then pull them out of a, a deck, you can do riffle shuffles where it looks like you're mix, mixing up the cards, but you're just maintaining that order of your select cards, okay? Now, there's 12 cards, but you're only showing, um, you're showing less than 12, okay? You pull them out, 
you have the cards in order like this. You can show them if you want because they, you know, the spectator's gonna think that they're mixed up. When you show that you're showing the first two, you're getting a break underneath the top three cards, okay? You're getting a break underneath the top three cards, showing them as just two cards. So I pushed the top card over and just showing that, that you uh, have a red queen and a black jack, okay? And what you really have is three cards like that. You have the red queen and the two jacks, okay? So you just get a break, pull the top card over just with your thumb, holding these, these two cards as one, showing them, and then placing them down on the table. Now the next two cards, you just do the same thing, okay? You're only showing 10 cards, I think, a, a, a total. So you just show that the next two are king and queen, and this is just two cards, and then two cards again, I just pull them over just because it looks like you're doing the same move over and over, and you can show the two cards again. The next two, same thing, show that it's just two, okay? Now you're left with three cards in your left hand. This is my right hand, this is my left hand. And then for the last two, I just, with my thumb, just pull the top card over, show the red king, black queen, okay? You're just showing it three cards as two because this is a king and then this queen is actually two cards. It's another red king and a black queen, okay? So when you're down to the final three, you just say in the last two, pull one card over, show the red king, and the black queen and just put them on top. Now you square them up. The cards are set in order, so now they're separated. You can you know wave your magic wand over it, whatever kind of magic move. And now you can say it separates and puts it back in the order to the red kings, the black queens, the red jacks, the black kings, the red queens are together, and the black jacks are together. Okay, and that's it. It's uh, pretty simple to do. You just got to remember to show you know three cards as two you know, two times, the first time and the last time, and then the stack is pretty easy to get to. You just, you know, red kings, black queens, red jacks, black kings, queens, jacks, and then the stack, you just three, place on the top on the table, two, 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 and then the final three back on top of that, and then put these on top of your cards, and you're all set to go again, okay? Let me know what you think. Uh, I really appreciate it. Thanks for watching, and until next time.